Hello YouTube, I'm Jay and today I will uh, teach you how to create a uh, greetings card in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, okay, we have plenty of tutorials uh, uh, to do it with Photoshop, but I personally prefer, prefer uh, Adobe Illustrator and I will show you uh, why. Let me just open uh, the greetings uh, the birthday greeting card uh, from my friend uh, that I did uh, a few days ago. So we will be, we'll try to recreate something like this. We can start simply by creating a new document. I like to uh, start from a template like this, and. Um, Let's go. Uh, I will first create a rectangle, color it any color. Uh, we can use we can use I don't know red. Let's call red is okay. No, I don't like that. This is okay. And uh, we'll just do a basic type like happy happy birthday. Okay, we'll change the font. We can use Acto. I'll make this. Uh, this is too bold. I'll make it like this. Uh, and by using the Alt key, left Alt key, and the uh, up arrow, uh, we can adjust the space between the uh, two words and between the letters uh, we can use the uh, uh, by again pressing the alt key uh, using the right arrow uh, we can adjust the space between the letters okay I will scale this scale this up a bit make it white okay and uh, then in the layers panel I will lock this and do some random playing um, we will use this uh, rectangle tool and just draw rectangles. Okay, uh, what I did here is uh, I used the shear tool. In the when you click on a, any object, uh, right click and transform, you have the shear option. And you can adjust the, the angle of the shear. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to scatter them around like this. And uh, uh, then uh, uh, this is a very important step here. Uh, we we want to use the color guide, um, and uh, we will use this. What is this color? Pink, and uh, we'll see uh, what colors are complementary uh, with with our selected color. We see it, it is this this uh, this little pale green. So we'll make some of these uh, green. Yes, I like this. Uh, we'll make some of those a little lighter color. Something can stay white too. I'm just uh, gonna play again a bit with this. So I'll speed up the video. Uh, next thing uh, we will uh, want to uh, collect all of these little objects and uh, make them into one group. But I don't want the background selected, so I'll hold uh, Shift and click so that I deselect all of this. And then I'll go Control G, or I think you can go to Object here and Group. Yes. So in the Layers panel, we have it a little bit tidy now. So we can see uh, uh, every every single element. We'll just um, kill this in a second. And now, uh, uh, comes the uh, thing and the 
that's why Illustrator is so powerful. Uh, I like how this, this, these letters are, are tilted, but uh, those objects do, do not match the angle here of the, of the type and the, these objects. So I, wa I want to adjust this. You can do it. You can do it uh, by unshearing it. Uh, literally. Uh, I'll type here minus 5. Now uh, they they match. Uh, next important thing uh, is um, is the mesh tool. I'll show you what I mean. If we copy this here and use the mesh tool here, it, it's under it, its shortcut is U, and uh, just click a few points here. Go to our color guide, which is again. And click a few spots here. Uh, you, you see what we can. And when we make it, this object uh, go to the top and place it above it. On the first side, we we didn't do much, but if we change this uh, transparency to, let's see, maybe overlay. No. You can just experiment here and get uh, various pretty amazing results. As you can see, this this is this is very unexpected and uh, quite quite beautiful. Um, if we if we copy this text and place it at times, use the arrow keys. Uh, I'll tap twice down and uh, twice to the right and change this color to black. These letters get uh, uh, some subtle, subtle uh, shadow underneath them. This is very nice, if you ask me. And then, I, I think, uh, without complicating complicating it too much, uh, this green scar can be finished. Uh, if you want, as a bonus element, you can add some, I don't know, use, use the pencil tool to add some stripes like this. Make them white, and uh, we want to put it under the mesh so that the mesh color and transparency affects it. You can see here is it is highlighted a bit, and down here it, it is not. And now we come to the point uh, where I again I will I will do a, a fast forward of the video. Um, I what I did is just added some some uh, uh, copy and paste stars and uh, more of these uh, uh, stripes as you can see here a uh, very very simple process and uh, makes it uh, makes it makes it uh, prettier and uh, at at the end uh, i just copy the that text uh, and placed it on the on top to, to make it more more visible. It's a bit more prominent now. Okay, that's it. We can now export this uh, for web devices, and we can uh, see our result. Pretty simple, huh? save this as a jpeg file we'll name it card and pretty nice huh i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and join me next time if you like it uh, please click the like button and subscribe to support me goodbye